In a report entitled, We Are in Tombs, Human Rights Watch heard testimonies from lawyers, former inmates, and relatives of those behind bars. The report found that there's no hospital or routine doctor visit at the prison. Furthermore, prison guards intentionally prevent medicine from reaching the inmates. This has resulted in at least six prisoners dying behind bars. Two of those cases were of cancer patients and another victim was a diabetic who, despite a court decision ordering authorities to allow him his medication, he never received it. That inmate, Isam Darbala, then appeared at a court hearing, shaking, semi-conscious and incontinent. Still, he didn't receive medical attention. He died hours after that hearing. Here's what a mother of a current inmate has told Human Rights Watch. We've been asking for medical care since my son was shot. We've written to the prosecutor general explaining that he needs an operation. We've said we'll pay for it, but they continue to refuse. Several of the inmates have tried to protest the treatment they've been subjected to. Some have gone on hunger strike. But according to the report, that only led to more torture. When my brother refused to break his hunger strike, they abused him physically and mentally. Riot police entered his cell and beat him across his head. There are around 1,000 inmates in Scorpion prison, among them doctors and journalists. And according to Egypt's general Ibrahim Abdel Ghaffar, Scorpion was, quote, designed so that those who go in don't come out unless dead. Human Rights Watch says that unless urgent action is taken, the general's wish will continue to come true.